I want to talk about a cultural issue before we go to Super Chat. So we have one more segment. This is from Podcast Movement. Yeah. Heavens. They've apologized that. to Ben Shapiro, <laughs> saying, as we stated, we're continuing to evaluate our policies guiding social media and events with inclusivity, diversity, and respect for all. We have to start by sincerely apologizing to Mr. Shapiro for our reaction. When he visited a booth, we sold his company. That wasn't right. Just, just think about how insane that is. Yes, we'll sell you a booth. You show up to said booth. We condemn you showing up, even though you paid us and we you knew you were coming. sold it to me. So I can respect them now for coming out and uh, saying the right thing and apologizing to Ben. They say it began in 2014 when four podcasters had an idea to create a community, blah, blah, blah. We're now looking to move forward as we focus on that original mission from 2014, being a hub for podcasting events. Okay, you know, you know what? Look, I respect it. You know, always give respect where respect is due. They said it was wrong. They're apologizing to Ben Shapiro. Fine. Daily Wire, why don't you just create a podcasting convention? They probably are already working on it. Yeah. Let's be real. Jeremy's are. podcasts. Stop giving <laughs> yeah, money to people go. who hate you. Do another commercial and then we'll get a booth there too. That'll be great. We'll do a podcast there. Yeah, but don't call it podcast because that's an Apple thing. The iPod. Uh, you know, Xerox. What do you call it? Yeah. A show. Just a show. A but it's like, a it's broadcast. more specific. A broadcast maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that was know. really weird. Like, I know what you're saying, but I also don't have the right word because podcast has become so specific in our vernacular. Broadcast comes from when they used to cast seeds when they would plant a field. They'd cast broadly and they called it a broadcast and then it just kept in the vernacular until all of a sudden now. So we could wow. retake broadcast. Isn't it weird if you think about new. it though? Like the, this, the the launch of podcasts, people had iPods and then someone was like, I'm gonna make a talk show to put on your iPod. And then like all of a sudden people were listening to these things. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. so weird. And Apple's like, we're gonna get their That's minds. Really but then when like forever. Spotify was like, we, we want those too. They had to keep calling them podcasts. They should stop. Yeah. But did, well, like again, what's the alternative? Shows. I mean, this is I called know. a vodcast. Yeah, video. Video on demand cast. Hmm. That's right. Vods, yeah. Vodcast. Nice. So we, uh, Forget Apple. Are yeah. you a vodcast too? Yeah, I'm a vodcast. Wow. Yeah, so I don't. Your... I don't call it that. I call it a podcast. Yeah. But so like Rogan's is called a vodcast. This is a vodcast. Same yeah. with like video, vlog, video. like a video. Log. VOD means video on demand. So it's like it's not a podcast. Like podcast was on iPods, mm -hmm. and now these talk shows are video on demand yeah, on vodcast, social media. Vodcast, dude. That's it. That's what it's called. Yeah, these are vodcasts now. But cool. that's well. They're also shows. I like show because it's one syllable. But show could be like that's a theater. Cool. Like I, I'm almost thinking it's too non-specific to be like, we're, come to our show convention. Like, are you putting on yeah. theater performances? Are we going to the movies? Talk like, show. Talk, talk show. Radio. Yeah. But well, if you're talking to someone who doesn't know, and then what do you do? Oh, I has a podcast. You wouldn't say vodcast. Right. They'll understand yeah. it. Yeah. I guess. I but I'm not show, against actually. coming up with show. a new word. I like do think we could definitely come yeah, up with a new word. Yeah, I don't like Google as a verb either. I don't like that these corporations are in people's minds. Oh, I don't do that anymore. I don't, I just say bing search it. it. Yeah. I say bing it. Duck, duck, go it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Search it search. on Google if you want. So oh, the yeah. point, the reason I brought this story up was not to debate words in semantics, what? but to Why? point out another culture, culture war victory. And they named, they said Ben Shapiro specifically by name. I think that's Mr. good. Mr. Shapiro. It could have been very easy to be like, we're sorry if any of our actions upset someone, no one in particular though. You know, there's a I guy. why they did this. Like, why did they apologize? That, you know, there's two, there's two Ben Shapiros in media. There's probably more, to be honest. But uh, the editor, I think the editor of Vice Magazine. His I, name I, is Ben Shapiro? Literally Ben Shapiro. Yeah, and <laughs> when I worked at Vice, Ben Shapiro. And know. then he was like, at the time, this was back when Ben only had maybe like 20,000 followers or something. And so it was funny because people would mix up the two Ben Shapiros. I don't know what he does now, though, but, you know, clearly one Ben Shapiro is more He tries to go by Benjamin famous. Shapiro now? Yeah. Yes. I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder like, if there are other You lost people. your name. Like, imagine that. You, imagine, you like, it. your yeah. name is, like, John Smith or whatever. You know, let, let's say let's say your name is, you know, I don't know, something more uh, weird. Ian Crossland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. And, like, um, imagine, like, when you're coming on the show, Ian, there's another dude who's, like, got a master's degree in, like, he's, he's like, a master, a chem, he's, got a, he's got a PhD, let's say a PhD. He's actually doing graphene research experiments, and he's going around talking about how, how much he wants graphene. And then everyone's like, oh, you're that graphene Ian Crossland guy. And he's like, yeah, I am. From that podcast, that hippie weirdo. No, no, I'm the PhD. <laughs> Sorry, you lost your name. Someone else is now more famous than you with the same name, so. But they're then contacting you and being like, tell us about your experience in your doctorate program. And you're like, what? No, that person wouldn't exist. And that other guy has to go by like I Ian Jamin Crossland Ian now. Jamin. <laughs> Should we get rid of names and just use numbers then? <laughs> yeah, that works. Yes. Be a lot of them. 
I C seven four three one six. What is your opinion on graphene? I was going to change my name to Ian, like Prince or Cher. <laughs> I was about to, man. I was going through a midlife crisis. I didn't do it. Anyway, my point is, I guess what I was trying to get to. Why do you think they're they're ba- they're backpedaling? Yeah, Could, I don't know. It just seems like they're under duress or something. It feels like the right there. is getting cultural pressure. Woo. And companies are now realizing it's not worth it. Did you see what Christopher Rufo tweeted about Disney? Reg- registered voters disapproving of Disney. Now they're underwater, I guess. Mm. Like, no, no, no. Their approval rating among voters is 51%. Hmm. Among independents, it's 47 Among Republicans, it's like in the 20s or something. So is Disney is... surprising to me, actually. Not me. Like, have you have you seen the latest stuff they've been producing? I have, but I'm always, go broke. I, I'm always surprised at how much people are paying attention, I guess. Yeah, but I kind of feel like it, it's it's watching Disney is the, the the definition of not paying attention. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're trying to watch Marvel and then they, they show you She-Hulk twerking or something, you're going to be like, okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not okay with whatever it is they're doing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you're political. Mm-hmm. You know? Jennifer Lawrence wants everyone to be political. Well, she's afraid of Tucker Carlson. She's, she's having, nightmares about she's having nightmare. Probably right now, she's having a nightmare about Tucker Carlson. Uh, Poor girl. Aww. So strange. So but here's what I said. She's out with Harvey they said, yeah. they said she had nightmares starring Tucker Carlson. It's like, for all we know, her nightmare was like aliens are abducting, abducting her. Oh, and, and he and saved her. Tucker has got like yeah. an yeah. Iron Man suit and he saves her. That like, probably disturbs her. Does, her. Does, yeah. I, I would does that rather... mean that she watches him regularly for him to show up in her subconscious? <laughs> yes, it does. That's what that means, I would never have a dream about Chris Hayes because I've never watched the show before. right 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 what if she's like hate watching him every night yeah they say like sometimes people that you see on the street or like that you interact with in a restaurant will come will be in your subconscious because your mind remembers their face right but she's seeing tucker carlson so frequently she can identify him in her dreams like that's i think actually telling us like what's going on at home not, no, dude, they're, they're not like they're not nightmares they're they're actually amazing like, so i imagine she's not you know you have a nightmare you you know you wake up in a cold sweat no no no, no. she's having beautiful fantasy dreams where she's on the riding on the back of a stallion and tucker like you know he's like they, they they trot up to like a beautiful waterfall with a rainbow and birds of paradise and then she goes oh hold me tucker and then he's like you're so beautiful and then she wakes up just like normally with her eyes slowly opening goes okay that was a nightmare and she's sad. that's it yeah she's actually having the deep really fantasies disturbing. i'm supposed to not like that right yeah. okay then it was a nightmare not a yeah. beautiful exactly. experience a beautiful experience She's only calling it a nightmare because she doesn't want to tell people she's dreaming of, of Tucker Carlson. She does want well, to. She she's telling show. us that she's dreaming of Tucker Carlson. <laughs> like she just told us that he's Let's, hanging okay. out in her subconscious. I, I learned from the best in media. Thank you, Brian Stelter. Headline, Jennifer Lawrence has recurring dreams about Tucker Carlson. Or how about Jennifer Lawrence constantly is constantly dreaming about being with Tucker Carlson. Boom, yeah. there we go. Yep. I, w- I wonder if she's in the dreams with him. I got to know more. I want to know about. Th- I want to know everything <laughs> yeah. about these dreams. Jen. Just tell me. I want. I want the whole. It would actually be funny if the dreams were like she walks into an office building and Tucker's a receptionist and he's like, "Just fill out this form, sign here, and go up to the third floor." And then she's like, "Ah!" Like, what if it's, it's like, the most banal and mundane experience? She's like in bed and her husband is like secretly watching Kirk- Tucker Carlson while she's asleep, <laughs> and that's what it is. He's and like he hearing dreams. her voice, and so she's like seeing him in her dreams, but yeah. actually, like, it's oh. her husband's like, "I'm a closet conservative." When I when I would go to sleep watching Adult Swim, I would have Scooby Doo dreams all the time, right. and I was like constantly in the mystery machine, you know, with 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 Scooby, and it was it was funny because like. Scooby and Shaggy would be saying things and then in my dream I'm like responding to them but they weren't talking back and it was the weirdest experience and then I would slowly wake up and Scooby Doo is on you know that's that's probably that's it that's happening. it that's what's happening. happening it's her husband he's yeah. he's a huge Joker Carlson fan <laughs> she's he's like yeah we're, we're going to bed no problem like you you've lay down I'll, I'll <laughs> she's just having, she, she, so that means she's like having a dream where she's like driving in her car and Tucker sitting next to her going and now the Democrats <laughs> want to want want to steal it, you know. Which, like, I agree. It might be feel very strange to suddenly have Tucker Carlson like lecturing at you in your dreams, but especially if you think yeah. you don't watch him, but you secretly do. Celebrities apparently, celebrities are very weird. She said that she became a liberal from watching Thirty Rock. Yeah, I yeah, I did see that, that one. Yeah. But but she Liz says Liz Lemon, Lemon ex- was a Trump was a, was a was a Republican. Well, I yeah, I don't know which part of Thirty Rock made her a liberal. I don't think it makes any sense at all. This Rock. is what's also crazy. she was like. I watched it when I was like thirteen, and you want to be like. So you're super grounded in your political opinions. And yeah. yeah. Okay. Liz Lemon in 30 Rock goes into, I can't remember whose office, and she says that she tells her friends she voted for Obama, but she secretly voted for McCain. That's funny. She was a secret McCain voter. Wow. Maybe that's like, what she's trying to tell us. You can be a Democrat outwardly, but you can hide it. You can actually vote Republican secretly. Yeah, like, she's, like secret Trump supporters. That's what she, but the Jennifer crazy Lawrence thing is, is saying, like, that's why she watches Tucker but, but, Carlson. But hold on, like, what kind of person voted for John McCain? It's interesting because... 
a large portion of the current younger Trump supporters are not fans of John McCain at all. Yeah. Like war hawk, warmonger. But Liz Lemon did, and she's liberal. She's further right than most of the Trump supporters, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what a weird way to become liberal. <laughs> Lawrence is I watched a, a show person. where... When I was 13. Yeah, I was fantasy and I was like, I became an anarchist because I watched How I Met Your Mother. And you're like, what? 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 doesn't make any sense. Who said that? What? Oh, I'm just making it up. Oh. Right. That's one way to become an anarchist. Yep. I realized that life was pointless. Yeah. I became a, a, a nihilist from watching Big Bang Theory. Yeah, oh, okay. Because I realized people actually like this stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, Big Bang Theory is so not funny. Yeah. It is the <laughs> least funny show I have ever watched in my life. Have, like, you ever, have you ever seen it when they do... Um, they take out the laugh track. The take, laugh, oh, oh, uh, oh my god, so comfortable. <laughs> and it's like what happens is like dude walks in and then he's like, what are you doing? And the guy goes, I'm working on my thesis. And he goes, just like a Fibonacci sequence. Oh, so uncomfortable. And then they just, uh, it's it. And so then you're like, awkward. what? what? <laughs> but like, there's, I remember watching one where he's like, that's my favorite Fibonacci number. And then there's like a laugh track and I'm like, where's the joke? What? Yeah. Dude, I don't, I, I don't It's get off it, the man. air now, okay? <laughs> yeah. Is it? I think so, yeah, right? I think so. It was like a big it was like, deal, but the, it was like, I mean, people like the show 10 somehow. to 15. But I, think I don't think they actually think do. They feel smart because it's like smart? some science words in there. Oh. And so they're like, oh, yeah, words. science. And hey, then, look, I think 30 Rock was fantastic. I like 30 Rock. Yeah, 30 Great Rock show. is funny. My husband and I both like that. Are All you right. now a Democrat because of Liz Lemon? I am. That's why I came on the show to tell you. <laughs> You're coming out I am, I am coming out as a liberal Good because of Liz Lemon. Yeah. Cool. cool. There we go. Thanks for checking out this segment from the TimCast IRL podcast. But if you want to check out the full show live, tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And if you want more special access content, head over to TimCast.com and become a member. Your membership helps sustain this company, keep our journalists employed, makes this show happen, and you will get access to exclusive members-only segments of the TimCast IRL podcast. And there's a massive library to check out. So again, go to TimCast.com or tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And we'll see you all there.